this last section, the kicking section, I've asked Larry Gregg to assist me. Now, Larry's a very good teacher here in California, and uh, we're going to uh, show you about six different uh, kicks. So let's start off with a basic front stomp kick. Larry, if you'll do that, please. Okay, one more time. And as, as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward thing. If you'll do one facing this way, the main point here is the knee comes up and he pushes the foot out. It's not really a snapping kick as much as a stomping or pushing kick, like he's kicking down a door. Do that one more time, please. Kick down that door, right? Kick down the door. Okay, that's good. Okay, so, so you can see that when we're doing, uh, give me a spot here. When we're doing this, from this kick, the knee comes up and stomping through there, okay? It's not a snap kick. It's, we're not snapping. There's nothing wrong with a snap kick. We got them. Uh, other systems have them. But this one here is really, knee comes up and we're stomping through there. That's the purpose of the kick. And uh, it would be used maybe in a situation like this. Larry comes up to try to punch me and I need to stomp him and knock him back like that. Okay, so it's kind of a stomping thing. You can see how he kind of like uh, got pushed back. It's good for, you know, kicking in the door if there's a fire in the house. These are, this is a very strong kick for that kind of thing, stomping kick. And right now we're kicking at the chest, but you could turn the foot sideways and kick at the knees. You could kick at the face if you that, have that kind of flexibility. Really doesn't matter. Put that front stomp kick. Again, the knee comes up to the chest, kind of like taking a dart in the child's dart gun and <laughs> pushing it in. It kind of sets in there and then there's some energy stored. When you pull the trigger, you're not really doing anything but letting the kick kind of fly out, kind of push out just like that. So uh, if you keep those, those things in mind as you practice this, and practice it, it, it against a heavy bag or a, uh, or a tree or something like that, and you'll, and you'll start to get the feeling. Okay, uh, the next kick is uh, a toe kick. Can you just do a toe kick, please? All right, good. Okay, it's very similar as you can see. Do it this way, please. Very similar as you can see to the stomp kick. Knee comes out, but instead of stomping out with the heel and the flat of the foot, this time the knee comes up and then the toe kind of snakes out there to hit a target. Kind of, we're looking at soft targets like uh, the groin area, the throat, the, um, the stomach. Okay, so in, in this case, instead of the, the the stomp kick coming in, knee comes up, but the knee just kind of slides in there, and that time we kind of let it slid into his throat there. And you notice it's really no wind up or anything. It, it just comes up and kind of slides out. Doesn't, the energy is stored in the back of my spine here, so store a little energy and then let, let it kind of slide out that way. <laughs> Sorry, but uh, you can see that I'm, tr I'm trying to do this without a lot of wind up without a lot of chambering. Just let it slide out very easily. Store the energy very stealthily, kind of in my back so he can't see it. And then kind of in here and the toe flies out. So that's the basic toe kick. Okay, uh, let me show a variation of the toe kick, toe kick number two. Let's say we're working with, uh, I'm working with Larry and somehow, let's move this way a little bit. He senses as I bring this toe kick up, he senses that it's coming, he moves back out of the way. Oh, I can't reach him anymore. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let my hip, hip swivel, and you'll see that the kick will go out, and then when it, I, I feel like I can't reach, I'm gonna swivel my hips and let it follow and keep going. And you'll see that, okay. So here we are, and Larry, when you feel this kick coming, I want you to kind of back up out of the way, and make me chase you. So here I come, kicking here, and then I had to turn my body. Did you see that? Was it clear? Okay, one more time. So here we are. I go to kick. He, oh, he's, he thought he was going to get out of the way, but I was able to open up my hips and get that extra foot or so. Okay? Let's do a, a side kick. And I think you'll see that our side kicks uh, may be a little different than what you've seen in some other martial arts. Uh, 
Larry, just a, a regular sidekick. And it's just what it says it is. It's the same kind of kick almost as the stomp kick, but uh, to the side. One more time. And you could do it with a stomping heel, or you could do it with the toe. It's the same thing. You notice his arms are relaxed. He could be in Kamai, some kind of Kamai. And just do a side kick. Oh, there it is. So he could be fighting someone in the front. And somebody came up to try to uh, envelop him from the side. And he could push him away or kick him quickly uh, uh, from the side that way. So let's see, if I'm working with, um, hmm kind of dancing around here. If we're over here, I'm, I'm fighting this way, and then all of a sudden I see this guy coming in, whoa, pop! Yeah, I, I was afraid I was gonna get him. Uh, watch your face this time, okay? So we're here, and I feel this guy coming, whoa, pop! And I can kick him right, just like that, and not lose my focus on the person here. So if I'm kicking this person here, I kick there. If I'm fighting this person here, I'm kicking there. And I can just move just like that. So that's how our, our sidekick is done. Um, kicking people who are on the side of you, you don't turn toward them, you just continue to face straight ahead and kick that way. And again, you want to relax your shoulders and let this kick out like that. And do it a couple million times and you get some flexibility and relax this back knee over here, open this hip. And uh, you should be able to snap that out pretty good, let that fly out pretty good. Okay, so that's the side kick. Um, Back kick, same thing. When she's in, no come on. And just kind of, he looks back over his shoulder and he kicks back. And you turn around so that the kick kind of faces at the camera. Yeah, one more time. Okay. All right. So, um, again, this back kick is. I'm uh, fighting this guy over here, and all of a sudden I feel this guy sneaking up from behind. Oh, I can kick that way. And really just kind of like a pendulum, bend your knees, let this go down. That, that just slides out there. Nothing fancy. You want to have a lot of uh, spring in your legs so that it kind of flies out there. One more time, he's coming up. Oh, I can feel that coming up behind me and I just kick straight back into them. Again, using your body to keep your balance. Okay. Um, let's do one more kick. Uh, the heel kicks. Heel kick and uh, um, but maybe the best way to do this is to just the kick is coming in like this, okay? And I'll just demonstrate this myself this time. Boy, there's a lot of different combinations you can use this for. For example, if Larry were to throw a punch at me, boom. I don't know if you can see that. Let's turn it around so they can see a little bit better. Punch comes in, whoa. Kicking right into that, uh, into that uh, really soft part of the knee there. Okay, took him right down like that. Okay, are you okay? Okay, one more time. Let's turn around again. Uh, a little closer to me. Now I'm over here. Whoa. Whoa. Right down that way. I can use that heel kick down to him like that, either with my left leg as I'm doing it here. Whoa. Or my right leg. Take him down like that. Okay, and the point of this is let the gravity and let your momentum do the work. Okay, so I'm here and I just let it, just a little bit of, uh, kind of gravity in motion here, whoop, boom, and let it go. I'm, I'm not really helping it, I'm just kind of letting it drop down there like that, okay? You can see that, oh, and we can also go, oh, you can see right into the kidney, that's painful, we kind of pulled it a little bit, but uh, you can see that one too. Oh. You can swivel your hips a little bit like that. So there's lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff here. Boom, boom. Many different ones. Same, same. And knee strikes too, of course. Okay, so there's your, your basic strike, your basic kicks. 
And uh, we'll see you in the next tape. Thanks again for stopping by. Jack Hoban, out. Jack Hoban is a former active duty Marine Corps captain and longtime practitioner of the martial arts. He was the third non-Japanese ever appointed Shidoshi, senior instructor in Bujinkan Budo Taijutsu by Ninja Grandmaster Masaaki Hatsumi. Hoban's approach to teaching martial arts in context of the universal human values is unique in the world. The training is suitable for men, women, and children of all ages. His goal is to help others attain the skills to protect and defend themselves, and especially others. Life-protecting skills, he believes, will help people live fuller, happier lives. In this day and age, crime and violence is right behind you. You can fight back with self-defense, and the best source is Black Belt Magazine, the world's leading magazine of self-defense. Learn how to defend yourself with fully illustrated in-depth articles, interviews with martial arts celebrities, plus trends and current events. Go with the best, Black Belt. To subscribe today, call 1-800-57-KARATE. There is only one martial arts legend. That legend is Bruce Lee. In his lifetime, he authored and co-authored only six books, including the Tao of Jeet Kune Do, as featured in the movie Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. There is only one place you can get all six books written by Bruce Lee, Ohara Publications. Don't settle for anything less than the original. To order your copy of a Bruce Lee book or any other titles about the martial arts, call 1-800-396-4272. What are martial arts? Mysterious. Building the body and mind. Devastating. Exciting. Learn how to defend yourself now. Let the experts show you on Black Belt Video. To order your Black Belt Video for only $29.95, call 1-800-581-5222. Again, that's 1-800-581-5222.